The material on this topic is very long and detailed, so I decided to divide it into two parts, so that all of you, beloved viewers, don't get tired and stay awake while watching this, and most importantly, this material is absorbed perfectly in the head. In many cases, symbols communicate various meanings, depending on the circumstances and how they are presented, in this instance, it's no different. Though most of us have no clue where this gesture comes from, we often flash it without being aware of its true origin. The more widespread use of it can be seen when trying to declare peace or wanting to express victory, however, a deeper research into ancient history greets us with a more sinister approach. Because of our lack of understanding of ancient symbolic language, the general public perceives this hand gesture on the left as the peace symbol displayed on the right, which is said to be formed in early 1960s by hippie peace movement against Vietnam War. In 1950s, peace advocate Gerald Holtham was said to be commissioned by communist sympathizer Bertrand Russell to design a symbol to unite leftist peace marchers in 1958. It is clear that either Holtem or Russell deemed the symbol, also known as the Teutonic Rune of Death, and the Neuronic Cross as the appropriate symbol for their cause, representation of so-called peace. This is designed by Gerald Holtem, the original creator of peace symbol, and his vision uniting the population. It was originally used as the symbol for the campaign for nuclear disarmament. It is composed of the semaphore flag representation of letters N and D, for nuclear disarmament, as shown in this picture. Holtem began with nuclear disarmament, ND for short, and then took the semaphore signals for those two letters. He combined the symbols, added a ring, and ended up with one of the most well-known icons of our time. Semaphores is a system for conveying messages by visual signals, in this case with two flags held in different positions. One area where it is still used is at sea. This is on October 22, 1983, London, United Kingdom. Campaign for nuclear disarmament protest, organized in the streets of London. While well, the reported origin of the logo has been clearly documented in letters, interviews, and the original sketches of the sign, the peace symbol has communist and Nazi, as well as historically pagan, occult, and anti-Christian meanings and derivations. This is the actual and true representation of the peace symbol, also known as the broken cross, which is foot, Nero cross, sign of the broken Jew, and the symbol of the Antichrist. Throughout the last 2000 years, this symbol has designated hatred of Christians. Nero, who despised Christians, crucified the Apostle Peter on a cross, head downward, because he felt he was not worthy to be crucified the same way Christ was. This hideous event resembled the Teutonic Cross and became a popular pagan insignia of the day. Thereafter, this sign became known as the Neuronic Cross. The occultist, Albert Pike, 33rd degree master mason, also identifies this symbol as mystical, in his book Morals and Dogma. Dr. Kurt Koch, 1913-1987, a noted German theologian who pastored, counseled and delivered more than 20,000 people, suffering from occult bondage, wrote that at the time of the first-century persecution of Christians, when the peace symbol was called the Neuronic Cross. It was on such a cross that the Apostle Peter was crucified upside down. Dr. Koch comments. The symbol of peace thus signifies an inverted cross and is a symbol of hatred against Christians. In the 8th century, the Saracens fought in Spain against the Catholic Church. Their warriors had the symbol of death, the Neuronic Cross, painted on their shields. The same symbol of hatred against Christians was used by the Saracens when they fought against the Crusaders in 1099 AD. By the Middle Ages, the Neuronic Cross took on more sinister meaning. The Neuronic Cross, known in many places as the Pentagram, served as the symbol of the Black Mass, Satanic cults and blasphemy. The Vitruvian Man, a drawing made by the Italian polymath, Leonardo da Vinci, in about 1490, is nothing more than depiction of a Neuronic Cross, an inverted pentagram. The Neuronic Cross, it is a cross with broken arms, it also signifies the gesture of despair and the death of a man. During the 20th century, the Neuronic Cross or pentagram became the symbol for the peace movement. According to Koch, the infamous peace symbol has been worn by various arch enemies of Christianity, from leaders of the communist student movement in the USA, to Russian-trained Arab guerrillas, and the black Pope Anton Levy. Sorcerer and high priest of the First Church of Satan, Anton Sander Levy, will perform the first satanic baptism in history. The ceremony will take place in the ritual chamber of the First Church of Satan, at 6114 California Street, San Francisco. The baby girl, named Gloria Lilith Bach, a relative of the composer, was conceived in a good old-fashioned lust, and was fathered by the devil. 
The baby was born on May 1, 1967, following the satanic fertility rites, celebrating Walpurgisnacht, Eve of May. The following goes. The mother, who is a priestess of the church, will serve as the nude altar for the ritual, in which her child will be baptized by fire, earth, air, and water. The purpose in the satanic baptism is to instill earthly pleasure in the infant, rather than cleanse her of the original sin, which is the purpose of the truly blasphemous Christian baptism. There are millions of wonderful little children being born of healthy lust. The kids have been condemned as sinful by the Christian church for too long. It's time they got a fair shake and a little ceremony for being as free and honest as only they can be. Magical music for the ceremony will include the hymn to Satan, and will be provided by the organist of one of the largest cathedrals in San Francisco, who will be hooded to maintain his anonymity. According to Dr. Kathy Burns, author of Masonic and Occult Symbols Illustrated, she has a quote from a former witch, saying it is a powerful symbol of Antichrist. It is an ancient and powerful symbol of Antichrist. During the Dark Ages, it was used in Druid witchcraft and by Satanists of all sorts, during the initiation of a new member to their order. They would draw the magic circle and give the initiate a cross. The initiate would then lift the cross and turn it upside down. He would then renounce Christianity in all three dimensions of time, past, present and future, and break the horizontal pieces downward, forming the design of the raven's foot. This ugly symbol is nothing short of a blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. For one to wear or display this symbol is to announce either knowingly or unknowingly that you have rejected Christ. Remember, symbolism is a picture language, and a picture is worth a thousand words. This photo shows Pope John Paul II, sovereign of the state of the Vatican City Israel, 2000. Notice his seat with an upside-down cross. Ignorant Christians wear this symbol, thinking it is a sign for peace. The origin of the word peace was stamped on this because, when a witch casts its spells, they get peace of mind after breaking the cross. This transgender creature known as Melinda Gates was seen wearing an upside-down cross on Today News, talking about the fake pandemic and what precautious steps we should take to stop this chaos. As globalists like to say order out of chaos brings the new world order. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. The runic insignia of the Schutzstaffel, known in German as the SS Runen, were used from the 1920s to 1945 on Schutzstaffel flags, uniforms and other items, as symbols of various aspects of ideology and Germanic mysticism. They also represented virtues seen as desirable in SS members, and were based on Volkish mystic Guido von Liszt's Armin and runes, which he loosely based on the historical runic alphabets. The symbol on the right is called Lebens rune, it is a Nazi rune of life. However, the peace symbol on the left is based on the upside down to Desrun, the rune of death. So when you see all these peace movements, marches and protests, know that what they're actually carrying is the symbol of death, it is the very opposite of peace. It is a satanic dogma, ideology as above so below, to twist perception and misrepresent reality, to protest against the same symbol they are using or representing. In the Third Reich, one could see birth dates of Nazis, or at least SS men, marked with a Lebensrun, and death dates marked with a Tedesrun, which is equivalent to a cross. Not only was it ordered by Hitler's National Socialists that it must appear on German death notices, but it was part of the official inscription, prescribed for the gravestones of Nazi officers of the Dred SS. This is just one example. To this very day the inverted broken cross, identical to the socialist's peace symbol, is known in Germany as the Desrun, or the Rune of Death. The Germanic tribes who used it attributed strange and mystical properties to the sign. Such a rune is said to have been used by black magicians in pagan incantations and condemnations. The symbol perfectly suited Nazi emphasis on pagan mysticism. Anton Levy, the founder of the Church of Satan, used the peace symbol as the backdrop for his altar. The V for Victory sign was introduced in January 1941 as part of a campaign by the Allies of World War II. Britain's legendary Prime Minister, Sir Winston Churchill, was the one who made the V sign famous as it is today. He flashed the sign every chance he got, and news photographers captured hundreds of photographs. It was generally thought that in doing so, Churchill was signaling confidence in eventual victory over the Nazi foe across the Channel. So, the sign of two fingers pointed upward in a V-shape became universally accepted as a sign for victory. This is Sir Winston Churchill, a mason, a druid witch, and wartime prime minister of Great Britain, flashes his famous V-sign. Long used to represent a number of occultic tasks, Churchill's frequent use spurred the use of the device by an uninformed populace as a sign of victory. 
This is Churchill greets the crowds on May 8, 1945, flashing the famous gesture from the Ministry of Health balcony. The group calling itself GIs and Bets for Peace adopted this logo, which utilizes the V sign in its opposites mirrored theme of the occult. The Hebrew language has no actual numbers, since numbers are represented by letters, and the Hebrew V, or VAV, represents the number 6. The number 6 represents unrest or evil, and we know that multiplying, 666, we get the number of the beast as it is written in Revelation. Winston Churchill devoted to the Kabbalists, introduced the V sign to naive masses as the sign of victory, to the ruling global elite, V also represents fifth age or the age of Aquarius, as they are confident that bringing the new world order utopia and maintaining humanity under 500 million, would keep the perpetual balance with nature. Page from Webster's Dictionary, where V sign is pictured, but never defined or explained. Such words as Vulcanism, Vulcanize, and Vulgar, are defined, however, in close proximity. Vulcan is the ancient god of fire and destruction. V is also the Roman numeral for the number 5, and Johann Adam Weishaupt, founder of the Order of the Illuminati, used this sign in the Illuminati to symbolize the Law of Fives. It is also worth mentioning that widely used satanic pentagram in Greek also means, Penta 5, or Satanic 5 star. This is a photograph of the banner, carried by the Peace Marchers at the Pentagon assault on October 21 and 22, 1967. The artwork on the banner is the OGPU all-seeing eye of the Illuminati, and the Latin phrase means, our enterprise has succeeded. This seal of Satan appears prominently in all occult religions, and was placed on the reverse side of the American $1 bill in 1933 by Franklin D. Roosevelt, the descendant of Clinton Roosevelt, an early-day Illuminist. The general population have taken over this symbol, not realizing that by showing it, they are promoting the Kabbalistic aim to subjugate the world. Churchill's sign meant, not only that he was under a cult's control, but that he was furthering their goal to take over the world. This photograph shows young Winston Churchill arrives for his Druid initiation ceremony. Was Churchill taught here, in this very place the true, occult meaning of the fiery and destructive V hand sign, that he later made so famous it became used around the world. The Green Man, sign of the Druids and the legendary being primarily interpreted as a symbol of rebirth, is found carved on wood and in concrete, in the architectural details of buildings, altars, and structures throughout the British Isles. The Green Man represents the cycle of new growth that occurs every spring. It is said that the Green Man Festival is an independent music and arts festival, held annually in mid-August in the Brecon Beacons, Wales. Founded in 2003, it is a four-day event, showcasing predominantly live music, with additional tents hosting literature, film, comedy, theater and poetry. However, as in many pagan traditions and rituals, the Green Man figure is burnt as an offering to Mother Nature at the end of each festival, much like it is depicted in 1973 classic The Wicker Man, and similarly in recent Swedish horror flick, Midsommar.